Don't try to ex post facto make some bullshit excuse about how denying me access to my retirement benefits, which are coded to a very specific function that also draws down on what my father did when he was in the United States military. Don't try to make some excuse that you spared me some sort of harm because of the implications of what's involved currently regarding compensation of government workers. Don't do that. You insult everybody. The wage schedule updates that I just found regarding government service employees is unacceptable. They fit exactly and precisely the pattern of racketeering activity I've been trying to have attention drawn to and have prosecuted both in the state of Texas as well as on the federal level since 2017. In that time, I have watched depraved acts allegedly in support of some workers' rights struggle that's actually being manipulated by people that never should have been involved with finance. It's unacceptable. It is apparent to me now that somebody is attempting to orchestrate a very massive terrorist attack. Don't say we're going to war. We're at war. We're at war and the alleged representatives of the government refuse to acknowledge it and refuse to provide the people with what we need to be able to defend ourselves. On the contrary, they are serving some other interest and attempting to delude us into believing they're providing us with medical treatment when what they're attempting to do is bioweaponize us without even giving us access to the means we would need to be able to safely wield those weapons in our defense. Now, if I were a government service employee and I just found what I found, I would demand to have my local representatives removed from office. They should already have known. I personally have been engaged in processes of what would be the role of mandated reporters who claim they're justified to draw a government salary. There's no way they don't know. And if these sorts of practices were allowed to proliferate during the 2018 election cycle and during the 2020 election cycle, where people who had already been elected to Congress and or the Senate had agreed to aid and abet such a conspiracy in order to keep quiet so that they could earn some sort of favor on behalf of their election campaign, then they need to be removed from office too. There's no excuse or justification. I only looked at the ones since the beginning of the year. You literally wanted to run the chemical warfare dump on the roofs? for a 10-day delivery on the anniversary of a hijacking by somebody alleged to be a judge who's been trafficking children in connection with bond fraud all fucking year. You need to be removed from office. You need to be removed from office. You need to be taken into custody. You have already de facto waived your sovereign immunity. You need to be prosecuted. 